what's the good word uh, DKB here so Mike F and White what a performance um, looks like he's picking right up from what he uh, showed us last year uh, and some of those key moments that we had to have him come in when Zach Wilson went down with an injury uh, and he's really going into a very unique situation not only for the rest of this season but uh, personally I was curious what are we going to do in 2023 so when we take a look at our current quarterback situation Zach Wilson is the only quarterback that's going to remain on the roster, which is a scary prospect for almost anybody because he's currently our third string quarterback. He's operating flight school, uh, a.k.a. scout team practices. Um, we know all about the demotion. A lot of people uh, are not loving his draft status anymore, considering not only has he had low level production uh, on the field, he has also had low level leadership uh abilities demonstrated up until this point um now granted it hasn't been like a consistent thing from all the cores it's just kind of this one i won't even say this one but uh this is really the most recent one that sticks out after that game where he didn't take accountability but regardless of that mike white joe flacco they will no longer have uh contracts with the jets at least going into next year you would have to say is a very strong bet now unless mike white falls flat on his face that he does get some kind of extension with the jets unless he thinks that he really does have a much better opportunity somewhere else um so what is that going to look like right uh first we would have to kind of get an idea of what the New York Jets feel about Mike White realistically. Um, if we feel like he's the quarterback that can be the future for at least the next, let's say, somewhere between five and eight years. Keep in mind, I want to say Mike White is 28. Um, then cool. That's kind of the baseline, right? You can call it a franchise quarterback. That's a long enough period. That would be the next thing. Uh, what do they envision him being? Uh, is he just the best fit? Is he the franchise quarterback? Um, and we've been getting a lot of that, not only from the fan base, but from players like Richard Sherman recently. Um, is he just an above average starter? Is it the fact that we have so much talent around him and he's making better use of it? So there's that whole fit. Secondly, he's an enigma, not only because of what his current situation is, we don't even know if he'll be, uh, you know, still quarterback in the Jets as a starter three weeks from now, at least according to Robert Sala in his last press conference. Um, but we're talking about a guy that won't even have a full 17, you know, games worth of film uh, to review heading into a pivotal next year for us. So he's really the only quarterback of his kind that's going through this. I mean, anybody else, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, um, even Jalen Hurts has taken him a few years. You know, these are guys that at least heading into year two, you really seen them take off. And, uh, you know, they either had a, a full, you know, in Patrick Mahomes case, he had what, 15 games to kind of ride the bench pieces game together and stuff. And then that full off season before things took off, Lamar Jackson, you know, relied heavily on his legs earlier on, kind of developed his arm a bit more, uh, seen him turn to all around talent. Jalen Hurts, kind of the same thing. You've seen the progress. So, Mike White is really the only quarterback that's kind of been thrust into a situation where he has to lead his team realistically into the playoffs unless Zach Wilson just turns it a tremendous leaf. Um, and then we're talking about heavy expectations next year. And if that's based on what Mike White has done, you would have to say that uh, the New York Jets would, you know, do everything possible to bring him back now contractually there's not going to be anything you can really go off of because everybody else has years and years worth of production for them to you know rely on um and whether they picked up somebody on a, a buy low um sell high kind of situation or trying to get their money's worth in terms of a quarterback nobody else is going to fit the mold that he does but uh there's four players that at least should be in this in the range. I think that would be realistic for Mike White if you want to consider him above average starter that you want to realistically take another year or two without, you know, mortgaging the future contract, uh, you know, cap wise. Um, and then seeing if he really can lead you to greatness for the next five to eight year period. Maybe keep in mind, Mike White's 28. Uh, the last contract he signed, I want to say, was two point two five million, maybe two point five. Um, but it, it was pretty interesting to me per year average wise. I get he does have a multi year deal, but right now he's doing better than Lamar Jackson, Drew Locke, 
and Jalen Hurts in terms of just some notable people that you expect uh, to potentially to be a starter or they currently already are uh, plus starters in the league. Now, for the four names contractually um, that I think will align with what the New York Jets could offer, that won't be, uh, you know, throwing him under the bus to a certain degree. Uh, Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota, Mitchell Trubisky, Jimmy Garoppolo. So, uh, Jameis Winston, we know, two-year deal. He goes to the Saints. He makes $28 million. Marcus Mariota goes to the Falcons on the two-year deal, $18.75 million. Mitchell Trubisky goes to uh, the Steelers, two years, $14.29 million. And then Jimmy Garoppolo stays with the 49ers on a one-year, $7 million deal. He has the asterisk next to his contract, just kind of based on the expectation that he was going to be unloaded and things didn't go their way. So the contract was set up to be friendly uh, for both sides. Now, everybody's situation was extremely different. Jimmy Garoppolo was coming off leading uh, a, a very well-rounded 49ers roster. Um, just couldn't quite get over the playoff hump. Mitchell Trubisky was a starter that flamed out in Chicago. Um, and the Steelers were hoping with the the environment they can provide him maybe they can draw out that that ability that uh made him a what was he a number three pick uh, way back ago uh marcus mariota again another starter that flamed out he was in that whole chip kelly project situation just didn't work out so you know injuries chip kelly career downtrodden but you've seen some of the makings with him being one of the the better dual threat quarterbacks at least during that period um and trying to revamp a, a falcons offense that's going through a lot of changes after moving on from matt ryan and then with Jameis winston he had all the potential in the world a couple nicks and bruises here and there but really his big thing was turnovers and uh you know the new orleans saints at least with uh sean payton at the helm at the time anyways Felt like they can really kind of reel in some of the negative parts of his game, accentuate the playmaking ability. So two years, 28 million is kind of the high end um, I'm envisioning. It's probably looking like I I would say realistically a three year deal for Mike White would be great. It gives us a season or two, depending on how we want to structure things to really determine if he can be the guy consistently. Uh, we've only seen him in flashes, so he's really still truly an unknown um and then on the low end you're talking about jimmy garoppolo but i think that's really wild i, I don't see us offering anything under two years for sure um and then just the way his contract and stuff is set up really you can set him aside so somewhere between about 14 and a half million and 28 million is what i'm looking at if you want to make that over a three-year deal um then let's say we're talking about somewhere between 22 million and somewhere between about 36 um hopefully something around like that 24 range hopefully works out and you know let's just say inflation and all that adds into it um i think that's kind of the number that we're looking at somewhere realistically he'll be looking between like 11 to 13 million annually it's a huge pay uh increase from where he's currently at um and, you know, at least per year, I don't even remember if I mentioned this already, but I mean, technically his contract is better, at least for this one year, than Lamar Jackson, Drew Locke, Jalen Hurts, plus guys, uh, at least expected future starters, etc. But uh, this will put him about squarely middle in the pack of the rankings. It's been an influx of a lot of quarterbacks uh, in recent years. So when you want to talk about contracts and kind of where they rank at, you see a lot of guys like Sam Darnold still uh, and Baker Mayfield and Zach Wilson more recently um, and, and, you know, Mac Jones and all those guys from that class um, kind of fall into that middle tier as well. Just being, you know, high in uh, first round draft status picks. So that always kind of, you know, trickles down and dilutes uh, how things really look. But I think that would be the most sensible contract. Three years, let's call it 30 six million i guess just to go ahead and make it a nice round number that'll put him about 12 million per average um Jameis got 14 million guaranteed or excuse me 15.2 million guaranteed uh with the 14 million dollar signing bonus uh let's just say mike white gets at least 60 percent of his um so let's say 19 million guaranteed for mike white 36 million 
overall 19 million guaranteed i don't know signing bonuses whatever um but i'm very curious for you guys so you know what do you guys think about mike white future wise um and what kind of contract would you ideally offer him and, you know everything's on the table if you feel like he's a franchise quarterback give him the six-year mega contract deal um if you feel like he's just an above average starter if you want to test the waters if you feel like he's not even going to get a second contract from us uh i'd love to hear it so let me know in the comments below appreciate you guys and the support as always and i will catch you again peace